Cool, wet rain is a blessing for crews on the front lines of the Gray Fire. Um, yeah, it's a little rough to look at right now, but um, it, it can be put back. For homeowner Del Ryber, it's a little too late. <laughs> it's bittersweet <laughs> because, man, we could have used this a few days ago, <laughs> you know. There's not much left of his medical lake home, a community he's lived in since 1997. The family is down, but their attitude could not be better. Things happen in life and you just have to, you have to deal with them. You got to take the good with the bad. This is the bad, but um, I've had a lot of good things happen too. One of our neighbors going by. Good has been hard to come by since the Gray Fire sparked Friday, a fire that spread so quickly it jumped the interstate. In that time, it's devoured more than 10,000 acres, believed to have destroyed 185 homes, most of those in Medical Lake. Well, it's just, just, it's just tragic. It's just like how much of it could have been possibly preventable. Damage that at times seems random, perhaps even cruel. It was a hot, hot, hot fire. Some homes leveled, others untouched. The Rybers coming to terms with the total loss. It, it was a nice home, it, but it can be rebuilt. Uh, a lot of things can be replaced. Uh, the tough thing is, is, you know, the memories. Memories turn to ash, and today they're soaked by rain. People that are hopeful the fires will subdue so that rebuilding can begin. The Rybers say they're not going anywhere. That number, 185 homes destroyed, is believed to be a conservative estimate. It's expected to only rise as crews get in here and assess the damage. Outside Spokane, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.